everyone, welcome to the so-and-so show. I am Brandon and, uh, and well, John obviously is not here today. Uh, I just got word that he is uh, running late. So uh, I guess it's just us today. <laughs> oh, here he is now. Hey, Brandon, have you started the show yet? Uh, yes, in fact, you are live on the show as we speak. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's perfect. Hello, everyone. I'm John, and welcome to the so-and-so. Oh! Whoa! Hey, watch it, buddy! Maybe you should call later. No time. Look, I just wanted to let you know I'm picking up some gift packages to help Kellen. He said it was very important. Whoa, whoa! Both hands on the handlebars. What packages? Uh. Ah! Sheep! What? I gotta go! Ah! Oh, whoa! Uh, well, uh... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to... Oh. Hey, Brandon. Are you still doing the show? Yes, you just got off the phone 10 seconds ago. Man, I'm fast. <laughs> Why are you calling? Uh, got another gift box to help Kellen. Okay, are you heading back now? No, 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 I got a few more stops to make. A few? Yeah, you know what they say. The early bird has a hard time seeing because the sun hasn't risen yet. What does that have to... Uh, I gotta go! All right, 124th Street and step on it! Uh, uh, oh, uh, please welcome someone who knows stuff! <laughs> come in, come in! Take a seat. Uh, tell us who you are and what you know. Well, my name is Gwen, and I am... Oh, excuse me for a moment, sorry. Look! <laughs> I have one more gift! And I'm on a boat! Oh, were you talking to a guest? Well, not yet. She just got here. Perfect. Can't wait to hear more. Wait, where are you exactly? Uh, no idea. Just following the GPS. Take a right at the second humpback whale. Second humpback whale? That's the first. Guess that's the second. Turn right, mateys! Sorry, uh, <laughs> that's my co-host, John. Uh, a friend asked him to pick up some gifts. Oh, how wonderful! I just love giving gifts. I am actually a gift-giving consultant. Oh, that's so cool. So you like help people pick out the right gifts to give? Yep. Some people get so stressed out about picking that perfect gift. I can help give them options. All right, so let's say that I wanted to... Hold, please. Hey, Brandon! Can you hear me? Yes. What's that? Yes. What's that? Yes, I can <laughs> hear you! I can't hear you! I'm gonna need you to keep doing the show without me. But don't worry, I got one more gift! So say I wanted to give the perfect gift. What's the first thing I should think of? Yes, the most important thing about giving a gift mm -hmm. is to think about the person you're giving it to. Don't think about what you would want. What do they want? What do they need? To give a great gift to someone, it helps to really know and care about that person. That is great advice. <laughs> oh, you're back. Yeah, apparently the GPS sent me back here. Uh, this is Gwen. Oh, Gwen, nice to meet you. Great interview. I'm sure people learned a lot. Why did it send me back here? Maybe for this. You're helping Kellen? <laughs> this is the perfect gift. I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, fellas, did you get the gifts? I sure did. I traveled over land, sea, and air. Perfect. Uh, do you want them? You hold on to them. We're going to need them to tell the Bible story, if you don't mind. Uh, of course. Take it away. I will, but don't go too far. Today's Bible story is actually just one verse. Really, it's a small part of a verse, but the lesson is huge. You can find the verse in the book of James, chapter 1. It's the first part of verse 17. James wrote, every good and perfect gift is from God. Simple, right? 
Gifts are an incredible way to show people that you love them. And if there's one thing we know about God, it's that God's love for us is incredible. So when we talk about God's good and perfect gifts, what does that mean? Open the first gift to see one of the things God gave us. Okay. Uh... Oh, God gave us a globe. Not quite. It's just kind of hard to fit the whole world in a box. But God's good and perfect gifts all started at the very beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God gave us the earth. Everything we see and touch, the air we breathe, the water we drink, rivers, a sunset, the tree you like to climb. God has shown us love ever since the very beginning by giving us this beautiful world. Okay, now open up the next package. Oh, may I? Oh, oh, yeah, of course, of All course. Right, Oh! Hey, it's us! Yeah! You know what? We are a good and perfect gift. It's true. Some of the most perfect gifts in our lives are our friends and our family. People we get to laugh with, people that encourage us and support us no matter what. One of the greatest gifts God has ever given us is each other. Brandon, you're a gift. Thanks, you too, friend. Oh, and Kellen! You're a gift too, Kellen! Right back at you. Okay, okay, okay. Now go ahead and open up the next gift. All right. Uh, oh. God gave us an old hat? Well, I had to get creative on this one. Wisdom. God gave us wisdom. Oh, it's like a thinking cap. Yeah, something like that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but I feel like God would give us a nice, fresh, new thinking cap. Well, wisdom doesn't usually come fresh and new. Wisdom takes time. And you can find wisdom in many places. In the Bible, um, by talking to trusted adults who have lived longer than you have, and by living life, gaining experiences, and learning to make wise choices. Oh, but even when you don't make wise choices, Wisdom is learning from your mistakes. Wisdom, wherever you find it, is another good and perfect gift that comes from God. Oh, next box. What's this one? Um, oh, creativity? Bingo, that's right. God is the creator of everything. Creativity flows from God. We also read in the Bible that every one of us is made in God's image, which means we can be creative too. Creativity can be painting a beautiful picture. It can be performing in a school play. You can creatively solve a really hard math problem too. Everyone uses creativity in a different way, and it's a good and perfect gift that comes from God. Okay, I'm really excited. Go ahead and open the last box. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, just lift it. Um, oh, oh, it's Jesus. <laughs> yes. All of the things we talked about are good and perfect, but none of them can match the greatest gift God gave us, Jesus, God's very own son. Jesus gave us an example of how to live by how he loved and cared for people. But not just that. Jesus died on a cross for our sins, and he came back to life, conquering death itself. And when we trust Jesus, we can have a relationship with God that lasts forever. And that's the most good and perfect gift. Absolutely. But why did I have to go all over the place to find these things? Well, I thought it was important to remember that God's gifts are everywhere, and they're for everyone. Cool. Hey, let's take a look at our verse one more time. Every good and perfect gift is from God. And that's all I have today, fellas. Hey, that's great. See you next time. Thanks, Kellen. Oh, can I keep the hat? Of course you can. Later.
You know, I think Kellen pretty much covered it all. These five things are everything God has given us. I think these are just examples of things God has given us. There's way more. Tell me now. I will, or they will. Oh. Uh, reveal the question. Oh, yeah. what good things has God given you? Uh, yeah, well, there's things that we've already talked about, like uh, friends and family. Mm -hmm. Maybe a pet? Maybe it's a talent or skill that God has given you. Ooh, or maybe God has given you eyes that allow you to gaze penetratingly at another person in a way that makes them feel like you know every single thought harbored in the deepest recesses of their soul. Or maybe it's ice cream. Yeah, God has given us so many good things, so talk about it with each other, and we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show! Goodbye, everyone! What other words can you, oh my. <laughs>